Hardware-based security, though unseen and taken for granted, is ubiquitous in today's modern lifestyle. Take, for example, a payment card, an ID card, an electronic passport or a contactless transport card. The list goes on, but they all have one thing in common. A silicon chip is the engine behind these cards and documents. Hardware-based security, implemented in a chip, provides the basis for these applications to be secure and its convenient use. Chip-based security offers many advantages, including security against fraud or misuse, but they must be convenient and robust in their usage. A variety of experienced partners along a complex value chain with very specific know-how contribute to the development of these demanding security products, and security is the key topic within the entire secure chip development process. When we think of the value chain as the process from beginning to manufacture till delivery or eventually lifetime of the product, rather than the development versus the, its first um, let's say implementation, then there's a lot of means that we take within the manufacturing uh, of the product, meaning uh, fences and, and certain mechanisms to ensure that access to the critical or sensitive data is prohibited. Continuous innovation based on long-term expertise, new technical capabilities, market trends, attack scenarios, and also specific requirements of the application such as required security level, lifetime, performance, and functionality are implemented in the development for a new security product. The chip architecture and configuration is chosen based on the specific application needs and the chip design is done in a secure development. There are varieties of specifics that need to be considered for security products, including highly efficient countermeasures, which are tailored to the specific needs of the application. In the past, this often included elements such as sensors, filters and shields, while today the latest security architectures use digital security features like encrypted calculations and error detection in the chip itself. The availability of modern packaging technologies is a key requirement to address the needs of robustness, performance and cost. All R&D activities are performed in a security certified design environment and this includes a restricted access to offices and laboratories. Before a chip is released for production, it must undergo extensive tests including quality evaluations such as functional tests and stress tests as well as a very stringent security evaluation to prove that initial defined security requirements are met. The products have to prove that they withstand attack scenarios such as manipulation, observational and semi-invasive attacks. Particularly in long-lasting security applications, products must not only show protection against current known attacks, but must also have the ability to provide measures against future attack scenarios. Chip production must be done in a security certified production environment. In a highly sophisticated silicon manufacturing process, the design circuit is being manufactured in silicon in a secure front end or wafer fabrication facility such as this Infineon fabrication facility in Dresden, Germany. The high volume of chips on a wafer are being separated and then packaged in modules in dedicated back-end packaging centers. And during the whole manufacturing process as well as delivery between suppliers and customer sites, the logistic processes must also fulfill very stringent security requirements. These include, for example, specifically protected areas for chip card and security products, as well as periodic audits of transport partners. The card operating system is developed for very specific user cases. For example, card operating systems for electronic passports are designed for a fast transfer of data and in accordance to the high security requirements for electronic passports. Particularly for new use cases and applications, field trials deliver important information to further optimize the use of the resulting product for the end user. 
Contactless interfaces are now a major trend within government documentation applications and require the integration of antennas into the documents themselves. Quality tests ensure that the smart card product or e-government document fulfills the mechanical and technical requirements. Throughout the manufacturing process, there is many technical features involved, like for example, uh, enabling or disabling functionality of the IC with uh, certain keys that are being exchanged so that the uh, subsequent manufacturing processes can disable or enable functionality themselves again. In order to achieve any security certification, the actual production sites themselves must also be certified. There are high security requirements for the premises and the staff employed there, and these requirements are also being continuously reviewed as it's part of the Common Criteria certification process. The Common Criteria scheme is a certification process which shows the vendors and the consumers the IT security level of a product. The advantages are that the vendors and the consumers easily demonstrate or see whether a product meets their security requirements or not. The BSI is the official certification body of Germany. The BSI issues the certificates in the Common Criteria Certification Scheme. These security certifications, according to Common Criteria, are accepted worldwide, and certificates continue to be the best proof of acceptable levels of security. Secure products are a prerequisite for many new applications in government and industrial applications. These prerequisites being convenience, security and efficiency. As our society moves forward with technological developments in chip card applications, so too must the security inside them. For without silicon-based security, trust is hard to maintain. <laughs>